Hey, beer tubers. Um, it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, woke up to some good rain this morning. They said thunder showers, but we didn't get any thunder or lightning. Just good, steady, solid, steady rain all day. Probably a little bit too little, too late again for the for the uh, drought we're having. But at least it's something. It finally, I finally got a break in the rain. I got got some pork chops on the Weber. So I'm gonna do. I came out to the park here. I'm out here by the. 18th hole of the uh, Frisbee golf course. I'm going to do a, another one of these um, store brand beers that we uh, that just appeared on our shelves. I'm, this is again uh, supposedly the Baraboo Brewing Company which doesn't exist. Um, this is for the high V food stores here in the mi Midwest. I'm going to do their Woodpecker Wheat Ale. Unlike the IPA that I last did, I have not had this before. I do remember now of their twist off caps, so let me get this off. Maybe. Now, nah, I'm going to put a shirt on it. There we go. Twisted on pretty hard, so me, uh, glass is still a little hazy. It was in the, it was in the cooler. It's a fairly humid day today. This glass sort of fogged right up. Might as well just pour that out, all of it. Uh, we got we got a nice hazy golden color here. Probably a little over a finger of a really foamy uh, foamy white head. Um, somebody's uh, somebody came driving by in an old steam automobile. It's probably this circular driveway. It'll probably uh, probably come by here pretty soon so uh, anyway let me get this uh, get a nose on this see what we have like I said I have not unlike the IPA I've not had this before the head seems to be dissipating fairly quickly okay I'm getting the wheat a little lemon some other citrus fruits so slight mustiness there might be some floral hops in here Oop, here comes a steam mobile chugging up the hill. Let me see if I can get a picture of that. Oop. Yep, went by too fast. Oh well. Nice cloud of steam though. I haven't steam I've seen some old old automobiles before but never steam ones. So this is pretty weird. Um, anyway yeah there's a Slight mustiness, um, getting some starchy grain, a uh, little floral hops maybe, but it's just a mellow. It's you got your uh, your wheat sweetness and a little lemon primarily. So let me uh, let me give it give it a taste and see what we have. Okay, I'm getting the wheat flavor with some caramel sweetness. I'm getting that. Um, Lemon taste. It almost almost smells uh, almost smells artificial. Um, forgot to read. Um, anyways, this is, <clears throat> Baraboo beers are proprietary brand of the Hy-Vee chain of Midwestern supermarkets. The beers are contract brewed by Stevens Point Brewery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. This is a spring wheat ale with specialty malts and Yakima hops. And then from the Hy-Vee website, it says, "There's no woodpecker. That's no woodpecker you hear tapping. That's the knock of opportunity." giving you the chance to savor a cloudy pour of Yakima hops, spring wheat, and specialty malts. You wouldn't ignore our opportunity, would you? And again, I don't know the ABV, but at least from the initial taste of it and compared to the compared to the other one, it's probably pretty low, probably in the 5, 5.5% range. Maybe below 5, but uh, so far, not real bad. Um, got a fairly crisp, sharp, smooth... Uh, Mouthfeel, it's light bodied for sure. I uh, got a nice uh, clean finish. A um, little dusty and dry, but uh, not too bad. The carbonation you can't really see through it because it is a pretty cloudy, cloudy drink. But it seems like it's got a pretty lively uh, carbonation, which is sort of uh, cleansing. Um, still, not get, can't get over that lemon though. That just is not. I don't know what they uh, what they used for the lemon flavoring. I hope that's not from the hops, because that's a, it. It almost it almost smells um, almost smells artificial, like one of those uh, 
lemon drops or something like that. Uh, not super great, but uh, anyway, uh, let me sit, let this warm up a tad. I'll come back in a few with the final thoughts and great. Okay, I'm back. It's uh, It's been like 20 minutes or so. It's a little longer than I wanted to wait, but uh, had a train come by. I'm a quarter mile from the tracks here, so it was pretty noisy, but uh, it's gone now, so yeah, I'm back. It's um, not a lot has really changed. Um, getting a nice sweet wheat flavor but um, again that lemon just it to me it seems it, it's it's artificial it's not a real good uh, good taste in lemon but overall it's it's an okay wheat beer um at 6.99 a uh, six pack it's i suppose it's an aff affordable option maybe for somebody who's uh, new to craft beers um you know i might buy that ipa i did yesterday again but uh this one I don't think I will, but if somebody offered it to me at a, you know, at a party or a bar or something, yeah, I'd drink it. It's it's okay. Um, it's not good. It's not bad. It just just is. So with that that being said, I'm gonna give it a. It's an average beer. I'm gonna give it an average score, um, five out of ten. Um, Till next time, everybody. Cheers. Keep drinking good beer.